I just got hired to paint for edition hotels. Um, did you just hear that? I'm painting for edition hotels. This is the biggest client I have had yet, and it was very nerve wracking, if I'm being honest. There was just something about knowing that a huge international hotel chain wanted a mural for me. Like, what? That is a little bit insane and I was freaking out a lot of it. But of course, through this mural, there were some hurdles and very many victories. Painting this mural was physically so demanding. This mural was like four meters high and I could barely reach the top of the ceiling with the longest paintbrush I had. So the whole time I was painting, I was just stretching my whole body out, standing on my freaking toes to reach the top. And even then I had to like be so careful to get a straight line from the ceiling and onto the wall. The project did reach a point where I was almost giving up. This canyon just wasn't looking right. No matter what I did, it just was not working out. And I had to take two days where I had to repaint this exact area. And it took a toll on the mental side of this mural. This is something that I don't think anyone but artists are going to understand. But when you're working on something that you really love and you really care about your art, and you have this very specific idea in your mind and you just can't figure out how to create it. That is exactly what I was going through when painting this mural. This is turning out great, but it is so hard. I'm on day five and it's becoming so difficult to paint. I'm not in the headspace. I feel like everything sucks. I'm trying to paint this area right now and it's just not turning out like I wanted to turn out. And all my paint is like dry and I have to finish this by Sunday. That's where we are at. This happens with every meal, you guys. It's always this difficult. And then I'm about to finish, it becomes fun again. So let's see how it goes. Okay, goodbye. I had an awesome idea, a really cute idea that I was very excited about, which was to paint a sleeping fox. And I was so convinced my client would like this idea that I just went ahead and painted the fox without talking to anybody, which was a really big mistake. You see, when you tell a client you're going to paint something, they are expecting something from you. And they were expecting a very specific mural from me. And when I decided to change it up without notifying anybody, um, of course, they got confused and maybe were very surprised and ended up not liking Mr. Fox. Which was very sad and I'm just... I'm more disappointed in myself for not talking to anybody about it first. This wasn't, this was something just to learn from. And if I ever want to paint a sleeping cute little fox again, I'm definitely going to talk to my client before. 
but yeah, I learned from this, and that's what matters. This is the strength of being an artist and just continuing, continuing, continuing. Literally fighting yourself and the canvas to force it into submission. <laughs> to force it to work out the way that you want it to work out. And that's what I love. Just the dopamine of realizing that you made it work. If you liked this YouTube video, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked and maybe hit that notification bell. It really helps me out in the YouTube game and I'm trying to make this my full-time job. So thank you very much. Love you guys. Okay, bye-bye.